guys another video review for you. Uh, this time we are taking a look at the final figure in the Bacon uh, 2012 box set. Uh, this is Gigatron, aka Overlord. I don't know why he's called Gigatron, not Overlord. I, I really don't know, but he's supposed to technically be Overlord. Uh, he is very Overlordy in the colors with the blue tank uh, and the purple. And he is a repaint, again, uh, all the Bacon figures are repaints, but uh, this guy is a repaint of Bludgeon and also Bonsaitron, and I believe that there's one other, I just don't know who it is. Um, uh, da -da -da. Bludgeon is in the Revenge of the Fallen line, and Bonsaitron is a uh, Huff of the Decepticon figures. So yeah, as you can see, he's a tank, the turret does rotate all the way around. It is on tracks and on wheels to actually make it roll, which he does roll. Uh, he is a Voyager figure. All the other figures so far have been deluxes. This guy is a Voyager, so he is a little bit bigger. Hopefully I can get him, at least mostly on camera, because I'm very close to my... This setup is very close. It's not the most ideal setup for doing video reviews, but anyway, he does have a lot of detail. Uh, all these bits are all painted on detail. Uh, vents, these Decepticon logos are actually, well this one's normal, but this one's actually pretty cool because it's all like metallic stamped on, very cool. And we'll take a look at all the other details in, in robot mode. So yeah, to transform this guy, a little bit involved, not crazy. Uh, I wish we got the easiest way to start. You just kind of, kind of, actually first you want to come down underneath and disconnect the treads. Four points. Just dis disconnect them all, make them all loosey goosey. And you want to start disconnecting. Just wiggle around and disconnect these bits and just fold them up and out of the way. Just like that. And we can disconnect these side bits from the front as well. Come underneath. And we're going to. Rotate them. Rotate this whole bit this way. Just watch out for that back plate. And you want to fold these bits. If you see that these hinges are round, there's actually cut edges in there. And these actually fold in and peg in there. These side bits actually just stay there. And then they just kind of hang around. Same thing with the arms. Uh, rotate them this way so that the teal part is facing forward. Come in the back and lift up on this bit. Fold out the foot all the way. And that also folds out the heel. There's a little tiny heel. Just kind of fold that back. That's the body. And that will kind of click, the foot will kind of click into place. Same thing on this side. Lift this up and out of the way. Get the foot. Rotate it around, click it in, collapse this back. And there's his feet and hips done. So next we're going to come up here, split the arms, fold them down along the body, along the sides of the body. Disconnect these black bits that become the hands and just kind of Fold them out and down, and just rotate them all around. And then flip out the hands. And then take this bit and fold that flat. So again, disconnect the black fist, rotate the whole thing down and around, flip out the fist. Snap that down. Again, these bits just kind of hang out. Now for the head reveal, we're just going to collapse the whole thing down around the spine like so. Fold this bit back down. Kind of cock this off to the side. And there we have him out of focus and in robot mode. And I will get this guy in frame here as best I can. So basically the best I can do right now. Um, as you can see he does have spindly feet. And the legs kind of are hard to pose. 
properly. Oh, and he just came unseated. So yeah, there we have him more or less in robot mode. Um, as far as accessories, the cannon does turn into a sword. Unfortunately, the sword is soft rubbery plastic. Um, the other versions of this mold have uh, solid pieces for him in terms of uh, a solid sword, solid plastic sword, and a solid. Uh, let me get the other one out. And actually split this bit, and then comes another sword. And you can leave, you can have him if you don't want him holding the swords. He has these two bits right here where you can store the swords in there and in there. I'll just leave that there for now. Eh, let's put it in the other one. Just out of the way. So he could hold them or he could uh, store them. Up to you. So again, this guy has another face that people don't particularly like. Doesn't look terrible. Could have been better. Doesn't look terrible. Stay. So as far as articulation, head is uh, limited swivel because of the skull chest plate. Um, just this doesn't lock in on the shoulder, but he can rotate 360 degrees. Just watch out for all the bits hanging off of him. Um, so just watch out. Like I said. You can do that, but it looked kind of funny with this gap. Um, rotate. can kind of go in and out on this joint, but it's hard to do and is kind of cheating. But double bend at the elbow, mostly for the transformation, but you can get good range out of that. Um, wrist swivels for the transformation, so again, cheating. Nothing at the hips, mostly because of the transformation. That's all locked together. Universal joint at the ratchety on one side it's weird ratchety it's like no ratchet ratchet strong ratchet weak ratchet kind of weird um, rotates at the knee and I don't believe he actually has a proper knee joint. No. He does not actually bend it, then he just rotates. And you can see this whole bit moving. And then pretty good articulation in the foot, because mostly because transformation. You can pivot forward and back, and then on this joint, and then this joint. And he has a little heel spur. So yeah, I do like this mold. Um, I'm just not crazy about this guy in this mold. I'm going to give him a white stance, just so I can try to get more of him in frame. Not the crate. I mean, I do like him as bludgeon, especially with the uh, head robots upgrade kit. Um, gives him solid sword and better head. They actually did a an upgrade kit for him. It is. Oh wow, that's poking out. Oh no, it's not. Much better. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Who did this? This is made by. This was made by some. It was like one guy was selling them on Amazon, and I don't remember. High-end TF, high TFs. That's the guy's name that did it. Actually, did an upgrade kit for this guy to turn him into Skeletor. Um, this is basically a repaint of the Head Robots kit to turn him to make to upgrade Bludgeon. Um, it's funny because they got the bandit on the nose because uh, when you when you transform him, you can scratch the nose. But uh. I haven't decided if I'm going to use it, because this was really a limited edition, and I just really wanted to check it out. But it does... I'll open it real quick. It does give him a, a cool face. Very Skeletor. And you can actually swap it. Um, that's the face I have on my bludgeon. Because it's more of an IDW accurate look. But that is very cool. If I do display him, if I do use it, I will use that face. And here are the solid swords. Much, much better. Solid plastic, not that rubber crap. Um, and then when you're in robot mode, in vehicle mode, to hide the hilts. Because as you can see, the hilt stays the front of the cannon. You can actually have an extra cannon bit. 
So that's very cool. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do. If I'm gonna use that kit or not. I might keep them pure. I don't know. Looking at that upgrade, I do really like it. So maybe I'll use it. We'll see. But yeah, this has been uh, the video review for uh, BotCon 2012 box set uh, Gigatron, aka Overlord.